Hey folks, you're tuned into Comparator, where we pit products head to head and find out what's really the best out there. Today, we've got a special episode that's sure to grab the attention of all you car enthusiasts. We're diving into the world of premium summer tires, and to help us break down all the technical details, we've got tire engineer Glenn Romaine in the studio. Glenn, great to have you here. Thanks, Chris. It's great to be here and talk about these amazing tires. Today we've got five top-tier models on the docket. We're going to see which one comes out on top. Glenn, let's start with what we have on the table. All our tires have the same diameter, 18 inches. We're looking at the Michelin Pilot Sport 4, Pirelli P0, Continental Premium Contact 6, Bridgestone Potenza S001, and Goodyear Eagle F1 Asymmetric 5. They're all asymmetric, summer tires designed for sporty driving. But tell us, what makes them truly special? Yeah, Chris, this is a fantastic lineup. Each of these tires is engineered with a specific purpose in mind, and they all have distinct characteristics. For instance, the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 is known for its wet grip and high resistance to wear. This is achieved through specialized rubber compounds and tread designs that provide excellent handling and comfort. What about the Pirelli P0? I've heard they're a favorite among speed enthusiasts. Absolutely. The Pirelli P0 is all about high performance. It delivers incredible grip on both dry and wet roads, along with stability at high speeds. This tire is perfect for those who love speed and want to feel confident behind the wheel. Okay, that already sounds great. But Glenn, what's so special about the Continental Premium Contact 6? How does it stand out? The Continental Premium Contact 6 is a true all-rounder. It's designed to provide excellent grip and comfort in a variety of conditions. One of its key features is a high level of safety on both wet and dry roads, making it a great choice for everyday driving, especially if you frequently encounter rainy weather. That's impressive. And what about the Bridgestone Potenza S001? What does it bring to the table? The Bridgestone Potenza S001 is a pure sports tire. It's engineered to deliver maximum grip and handling. The standout feature of this tire is its construction and materials, which minimize the risk of hydroplaning and ensure stability at high speeds. It's perfect for those who want the most responsive handling possible. And finally, the Goodyear Eagle F1 Asymmetric 5. Do we have anything else to say about this model? Definitely, the Goodyear Eagle F1 Asymmetric 5 is a tire known for its grip and handling performance. It handles hydroplaning well and offers durability and comfort, thanks to innovative technologies used in its design. It's a great option for those looking for a balanced solution between performance and comfort. Wow, Glenn. I can't wait to hear how these tires performed in our tests. We'll be comparing technical parameters like dry and wet road grip, tire wear resistance, and rolling resistance. All of these aspects are crucial, but Glenn, what surprises might we encounter? You know, Chris, every time I'm involved in tests like these, there's always something that catches me off guard. But I don't want to spoil it. Let's wait until the end of the podcast, and I'll share all the surprises. Awesome. So stick with us, folks, because the most exciting details and, of course, the test results are coming up. Which tire will come out on top? We'll find out soon. Glenn, let's kick things off by talking about dry road grip. Can you explain to our listeners what that really means, why it's so important, and how we test it? Great question, Chris. Dry road grip refers to a tire's ability to maintain contact with the road surface. This is crucial because it directly affects the car's handling, maneuverability, and, most importantly, safety. Good grip allows the driver to have precise control, especially when cornering and braking. Think of it like walking on a tightrope, grip is your balance. That's a great analogy, Glenn, but how exactly do we test dry road grip? It's not just about driving on asphalt, right? Exactly. We conduct a range of tests to see how the tires perform under extreme conditions. One standard test is braking from 100 km per hour. We measure the braking distance to see how quickly the tire can bring the car to a stop. We also look at how the tire transfers power to the road, how it responds to sudden maneuvers, and how it handles high-speed corners. Alright, let's get into the results. Which tires came out on top? Let's start with the Michelin Pilot Sport 4. This tire is an absolute star when it comes to dry road grip. It achieved a braking distance of 34.1 meters when stopping from 100 kilometers per hour. That's one of the best results out there. The Michelin holds the road exceptionally well, offering precise control and stability in corners. 
truly a champion, as you might say. Wow, that's impressive. How about the Pirelli P0? The Pirelli P0 also performed excellently. It had a braking distance of 34.3 meters, just a couple of centimeters longer than the Michelin. This tire is built for sporty driving and shows great stability in corners. However, it's worth noting that under prolonged stress, its grip might slightly diminish, which can lengthen the braking distance. And what about the Continental Premium Contact 6? It's also on the list. Yes, the Continental Premium Contact 6 is a solid choice. With a braking distance of 35.0 meters, it falls just a bit short compared to Michelin and Pirelli. But this tire remains reliable on the road in everyday conditions, and many drivers appreciate its stability and comfort. Okay, what can you tell us about the Bridgestone Potenza S001? The Bridgestone Potenza S001 recorded a braking distance of 34.5 meters. That's a good result, and the tire delivers excellent grip and cornering stability. However, in extreme situations, its performance might dip slightly compared to the leaders. How about the Goodyear Eagle F1 Asymmetric 5? The Goodyear Eagle F1 Asymmetric 5 also put in a strong performance with a braking distance of 34.2 meters. It offers great stability and precise handling, making it a fantastic choice for dynamic driving. So based on these tests, would you say the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 is our winner? Absolutely, Chris. The Michelin Pilot Sport 4 truly stands out with the best grip and surpasses its competitors in terms of control and cornering stability. It's the ideal choice for anyone looking for the best of the best. Wow, thank you Glenn for those valuable insights. We've learned a lot about tires and their dry road grip today. Stay tuned folks, there's still plenty more to come. And we're back with another episode of Comparator. Just a reminder, today we have Glenn Romain in the studio, a tire engineer and an absolute expert in this field. We're diving deep into tire performance. Glenn, let's talk about a crucial technical aspect, wet road grip. When it's raining, grip isn't just important, it's vital. Tell us, what exactly happens to tires when the road gets slick? Yeah, Chris, a wet road is a real test. When water gets between the tire and the road, it creates something like a water wedge. If the tire can't quickly push that water out of the way, it starts to lose contact with the road. And that's where tire grip becomes critically important. It's all about how confident you feel behind the wheel, whether you can avoid hydroplaning, and how quickly you can stop the car if you need to. Wow, hydroplaning is scary. How do you test wet road grip? It's straightforward but very effective. First, we check how the tire brakes on wet pavement, starting from 80 km per hour, we see how quickly it can stop the car. Then, we run a hydroplaning test, measuring the speed at which the tire loses contact with the road. Finally, we look at how the tire handles wet corners. All of this helps us understand how well the tire can cope with various road conditions. Let's get to the results. Let's start with the Michelin Pilot Sport 4. What do you think, Glenn? The Michelin Pilot Sport 4 is like the Olympic champion of tires. Imagine this, a braking distance of just 27.3 meters on a wet road. That's impressive. And when it comes to hydroplaning, this tire holds its grip up to 83.5 kilometers per hour. In wet corners, the Michelin performs brilliantly, confident handling and complete stability. Wow, that sounds amazing. What about the Pirelli P0? The Pirelli P0 also performs exceptionally well, though it falls slightly short of the Michelin. The braking distance on a wet road is 28 meters. In hydroplaning tests, it maintains grip up to 82 kilometers per hour. But here's something interesting. The Pirelli P0 shows excellent stability in corners, though it can be prone to a bit of oversteer, especially at higher speeds. How about the Continental Premium Contact 6? The Continental Premium Contact 6 is a real workhorse. The braking distance is 27.8 meters, almost on par with the Michelin. But in terms of hydroplaning, it outperforms the rest, grip is maintained up to 84 km per hour. It also handles wet corners with steady, reliable performance. And what about the Bridgestone Potenza S001? The Bridgestone Potenza S001 is a solid player, but not a leader. The braking distance is 28.5 meters, and hydroplaning begins at 81.5 km per hour. In corners, the Potenza is stable, but in more challenging conditions, there may be a slight loss of grip. Finally, what do you think about the Goodyear Eagle F1 Asymmetric 5? The Goodyear Eagle F1 Asymmetric 5 is a bit of a dark horse, but with character. 
The braking distance is 27.5 meters, which is almost as good as the Michelin. In hydroplaning, Goodyear holds up to 83 kilometers per hour, and in corners, confident and precise. Wow, these results are impressive. It seems like if you're looking for the best wet road grip, the Continental Premium Contact 6 is the top choice, especially in terms of hydroplaning. Absolutely, Chris. For those looking for maximum safety and control in the rain, it's a fantastic option. Thanks, Glenn. Our show isn't over yet, and we'll continue discussing tires and their features. Stay tuned to Comparator. Let's dive into the topic of tire durability, a factor that can save you a lot of money and keep you safe on the road. Joining me today in the studio is tire expert and engineer, Glenn Romain. Glenn, let's break it down. What exactly is tire durability? Tire durability, Chris, is essentially the tire's ability to withstand wear and tear over a certain mileage without significant degradation. Simply put, it's how many miles a tire can cover before its tread wears down to its limit. This is crucial because worn out tires lose their grip on the road, which directly impacts safety. Got it. So how do manufacturers assess the durability of a tire? They use two main methods. First, there are lab tests conducted on special rigs. Tires are mounted on rotating drums that simulate real driving conditions, different speeds, loads, and so on. These tests measure how quickly the tread wears down. But, Chris, it's important to remember that lab tests aren't the same as real-world driving. Right. Real-world conditions are quite different. What about testing in real driving conditions? Exactly. To get a more accurate assessment, manufacturers also conduct tests on actual vehicles. These cars cover anywhere from 20,000 to 50,000 kilometers in real-world conditions, on asphalt, gravel, in rain, and heat. The tread depth is constantly monitored to determine how much life the tire has left. That sounds impressive. Now, let's look at which tire models performed best in durability tests. Absolutely. Let's start with the Michelin Pilot Sport 4. This tire can go up to about 35,000 kilometers before the tread wears out and it maintains excellent sporty performance throughout. It's the perfect choice for those who want to combine durability with a sporty edge. How about the Pirelli P0? I've heard they're great for grip, but what about durability? You're right, Chris. The Pirelli P0 is an excellent choice for speed enthusiasts and those who love a sporty driving style. But when it comes to durability, they fall a bit short. The tread wears out faster, around 30,000 kilometers, due to the softer rubber, which provides better grip but wears out quicker. Understood. What can you tell us about the Continental Premium Contact 6? I've heard they're true all-rounders. Yes, that's correct. The Continental Premium Contact 6 is a workhorse. They lasted about 33,000 kilometers in wear tests. This tire offers a great balance of durability, comfort, and handling. Sounds like a great option for those looking to balance comfort and durability. What about the Bridgestone Potenza S01? The Bridgestone Potenza S001 holds its own, around 32,000 kilometers before the tread wears out. That's a solid performance, putting them on par with Michelin and Continental. If you need a durable tire with good performance characteristics, Bridgestone won't let you down. And finally, how do the Goodyear Eagle F1 Asymmetric 5 stack up against the competition? They definitely hold their ground. The Goodyear Eagle F1 Asymmetric 5 lasted up to 31,000 kilometers, which is slightly below the top contenders, but still a commendable result. It's a reliable tire if you're looking for a good mix of durability and high performance. So it seems like the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 takes the crown for durability. 35,000 kilometers is impressive. For those looking for a tire that lasts long and performs exceptionally well on the road, Michelin is clearly the leader. Absolutely, Chris. The Michelin Pilot Sport 4 is the perfect blend of high performance and longevity. A great choice for anyone who doesn't want to compromise. Thanks, Glenn, for the insightful and hopefully helpful information for our listeners. And we're not done yet. Stay tuned as we continue to compare premium tires. Don't go anywhere. Glenn, I think it's time we dive into an important topic, rolling resistance in tires. Can you explain what that is and why it matters to all of us? Chris, rolling resistance is a crucial factor, especially for those who want to save on fuel and reduce harmful emissions. Imagine driving your car, and every time you hit the gas pedal, you'd prefer not to waste a single drop of fuel, right? 
Well, tires with low rolling resistance help with that. The less energy it takes to keep the car moving, the less fuel the vehicle consumes. Hold on, Glenn. So, it all comes down to how hard it is for the tire to roll. How do they even measure that? That's exactly it, Chris. To figure out how hard it is for a tire to roll, they conduct specific tests. The tire is mounted on a drum, where it spins under a fixed load and at a constant speed. During this test, they measure the force the tire resists rolling with, essentially, how tough it is for the tire to keep moving. Wait a second, so this is all done in a lab? What about real-world conditions? The roads aren't always perfect. You're absolutely right, Chris. Lab tests are just part of the story. Tire manufacturers also run tests on real roads to ensure the results align with real-world conditions. This helps them understand how the tire will perform on wet pavement, in corners, during braking, everything that matters to an everyday driver. Got it. So how are these results expressed? How can we, the average consumers, tell which tire is better? It's pretty straightforward. The results of rolling resistance tests are expressed as a rolling resistance coefficient, CRR. The golden rule here is, lower is better. A lower coefficient means the tire requires less energy to roll, which translates to better fuel efficiency and lower CO2 emissions. Okay, now that makes sense. So, which tires have come out on top in this regard? I've heard we have some interesting models to look at. Yes, let's check out the results. For instance, the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 scored a rolling resistance coefficient of 8.5 and that's a fantastic result, as the tire not only offers great handling but also helps save fuel. It's an ideal choice for those who want to balance sporty performance with efficiency. Got it. And what about the Pirelli P0? The Pirelli P0 came in with a slightly higher coefficient, 9.1 and this means the tire might consume a bit more fuel, but it's still within the acceptable range for sporty tires. If you're more into thrill and adrenaline than fuel savings, this is a solid choice. Interesting. But what about the Continental Premium Contact 6? I've heard it has really low rolling resistance. You're spot on, Chris. The Continental Premium Contact 6 was impressive, only 8.2N that's one of the best results, making it the perfect choice for those who want to minimize fuel consumption and reduce CO2 emissions. Wow, that sounds impressive. And the others? How did the Bridgestone Potenza S001 and Goodyear Eagle F1 asymmetric 5 perform? The Bridgestone Potenza S001 came in at 8.7N, a bit higher than some of the leaders, but still a good balance between performance and efficiency. The Goodyear Eagle F1 asymmetric 5 scored 8.4N, making it a strong contender. So our leader here is the Continental Premium Contact 6? Yes, with its 8.2N coefficient, it's definitely the top pick for fuel efficiency. So, if you're looking to cut down on fuel costs while also reducing your environmental impact, this tire is your best bet. Excellent, Glenn. Thanks for the valuable insights. That was Glenn Romaine, our tire expert. Now, let's continue our discussion on different tire parameters and work towards finding our overall winner. Stay tuned. Imagine this, folks. You walk into a showroom filled with premium cars, all equipped with the best tires on the market. It's like standing before one of the toughest decisions of your life. Your choice will impact not just your driving comfort and fuel efficiency, but also your safety. Today we're focusing on five market leaders, Michelin Pilot Sport 4, Pirelli P0, Continental Premium Contact 6, Bridgestone Potenza S001, and Goodyear Eagle F1 Asymmetric 5. We've compared them based on the most crucial features. Glenn, let's start breaking it down and pick a winner. Absolutely, Chris. First, let me briefly recap the key technical specs we used for comparison. I'll start with dry road grip, which measures how well the tires keep your car firmly planted on the road, especially during sharp maneuvers and braking. Picture this, you're accelerating, taking a turn, and the car feels glued to the asphalt. That sense of confidence a tire gives you is priceless. And here, the clear leader is the Michelin Pilot Sport 4. On dry pavement, coming to a stop from 100 km per hour, the Michelin halts in just 34.1 meters. That's almost like a race car. Wow, that's impressive. What about the other models? Did anyone come close to that performance? Definitely. Both the Goodyear Eagle F1 Asymmetric 5 and Pirelli P0 delivered solid performances, but they couldn't quite top Michelin. Michelin really sets the standard in this category. Okay, that's on dry roads. What about wet conditions? After all, rain is a reality we all face on the road. 
Oh, this is where the story changes. On wet roads, grip is even more crucial because you need to keep the car steady and avoid hydroplaning. In these conditions, the Continental Premium Contact 6 shines. Its braking distance on wet pavement is just 27.8 meters, the shortest of the group. So if it starts raining, this tire is your best defense, right? Exactly, Chris. Plus, it has excellent resistance to hydroplaning, making it an ideal choice for rainy weather. How do the others fare on wet roads? Michelin and Goodyear are also strong performers, but they fall a bit short in comparison. It's not that they're bad, Continental just stands out more in this aspect. Alright, now let's talk about durability. We all love it when things last a long time. Who's the best in this regard? In terms of durability, the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 takes the lead again. It can last up to 35,000 kilometers, which is impressive. It's a tire you can rely on for many years. How do the other tires compare? Continental and Bridgestone also offer great longevity, but they still don't quite match Michelin's durability. And finally, let's discuss rolling resistance. This affects fuel efficiency, right? Yes, Chris, exactly. The lower the rolling resistance, the less fuel your car uses, meaning fewer trips to the gas station. And here, once again, Continental Premium Contact 6 leads the pack. It offers the lowest rolling resistance, which translates into better fuel economy. It sounds like we have a clear winner. Yes, to sum it up, the Continental Premium Contact 6 is our champion. It strikes the perfect balance between sporty performance and durability. If you're looking for the best all-around tire for any road condition, your choice is clear. That was fascinating. Thanks, Glenn, for such a detailed breakdown. Friends, now you know which tires to choose for your drives, whether it's dry, wet, or if you just want to save on fuel. Friends, thank you for tuning in to our podcast Comparator. We hope we've helped you better understand the technical details involved in choosing the right tires. Remember, the final decision is always yours, and we're just here to provide you with all the necessary information to make that choice informed and wise. Glenn, any last words for our listeners? Thanks for listening. It's important to remember that choosing tires is all about finding the right balance. For instance, tires with excellent grip might be noisier than those designed with comfort in mind. The key is to consider your priorities and just ask an expert. That's what we're here for. Absolutely. Guys, always remember that in the end, the choice of tires is yours. We're here to help you make that decision thoughtfully and correctly. Exactly. And don't hesitate to ask questions, discuss, and seek advice. We're always here to help. That's the most important thing, friends. So, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let's make your tire choice as simple and successful as possible. Safe travels, and we'll see you in the next episodes. This has been Comparator. Stay with us and drive safely. Music